Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. This reading is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Guys, if you're looking for the um, the extended, will be in the uh, description box below the video as well as if you're looking for a reading. Um, that information is there as well. Um, also, if you're looking for all 12 signs, it'll be at the back of the video. Let's get into this for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know, please? What does Gemini need to know? Gemini, you have the Four of Wands. You have the Six of Pentacles. You have the King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You have the Lover's Card, Gemini Energy. You have the Two of Swords. You have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. I feel like for you guys that there may be a relationship. There's a relationship here that doesn't have equal give and take, that there's no, there's no equal reciprocity in this relationship with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Be, and, and it may be because of a choice. The choice is... The lover's card okay and making this head over heart decision to cut something out king of pentacles now is this the same person or is is this you're cutting out somebody for the king of cup let's see what's going on you have the eight of swords you have the devil you have the sun you have the death card wow three out of four my uh, major arcana here guys you have the Ace of Cups. You have the Emperor Energy. Let me finish laying these out. You have the Ten of Swords. You have the Five of Cups. You have the Hermit. You have the Temperance card. You have the Two of Wands. And you have the Seven of Pentacles. Under the bottom of the deck, you have the Seven of Wands. Okay, so I feel like there's a relationship here that you don't feel like you're getting given equally or you feel like you're breadcrumbing somebody or they're breadcrumbing you. The relationship where you felt breadcrumbed, not appreciated, not, not, um, not treated equally. There's a king of cups and there's a choice between a king of cups and a king of pentacles here and somebody's trying to make a decision. Are you going to stay where you're at or are you going to go towards something more stable or it could be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy? Or you may have a choice, your choice here, it may be the, the, the King of Cups and you're cutting out the King of, of Pentacles. Take it how it resonates with you. Someone's very trapped in their head and this is, um, you're obsessed with your happiness. You think that you're in your head about this. You think that you're obsessed with happiness and you think it will transform with a new beginning in love, emperor energy. So I feel like for me that it could be either the king or cup, king of cups or the king of pinnacles that you see as your person, because I feel like you think your, your happiness is everything's going to work out perfectly if I have new love with this person, right? I feel like the obstacle here, the obstacle here is this 10 of swords and the five of pentacles like you're trying to get some kind of clarity you feel backstabbed and betrayed and left out in the cold this is about this decision right here with this two of swords you're thinking this thing through clearly okay you really are you're giving this a lot of thought and attention because i feel like with this this six of pentacles is, is the, the being backstabbed and betrayed and left out in the cold, um, trying to understand something, trying to get some clarity of like why this happened, because maybe you, you thought this person, you may have, you may have been married to this person. I'm being pulled downward. So like this may be the person that you're leaving behind or this person, the decision is about this king of pentacles. This King of Cups could be the soulmate, 
but it's also a choice. The emperor energy. Take it how it resonates with you. But you've been very patient, patiently trying to make this decision. You've been patient making this decision because you're looking back at past mistakes or or the past, whatever this was. Now, if you're going towards this emperor, this emperor has done a lot too. I will tell you, you know, you have not been unscaven with this person, but that is prior to them learning all their lessons. So let's get some clarity, find out what's going on. King of Swords is under the bottom of the deck. So Gemini, are you coming in in a masculine energy? What's going on here? Okay, Four of Wands. See, this is you making that decision to cut something out in a relationship. Um, and I feel like Making this head over heart decision, I feel like because you have another offer, you do have another offer where there will be equal give and take. Um, you feel like you missed an opportunity with this King of Cups, and this could be a strong soulmate connection, but you're making a decision, and I feel like you're going to have a victory in this decision. You're going to make the right decision here, Gemini, making that right decision uh, because this can See, I was being pulled down. I was being pulled down to the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is the one who betrayed you. You got betrayed by that King of Pentacles. You were very trapped in your head about this. Like this wanted to flip out first. So I'm going to take it. You're very trapped in your head about this emperor. You're, this is this person because I feel like this is an obsession. Could be using your intuition. Could be mastering your emotions. You could be doing a lot with that queen of cups, but I don't feel like it's cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. I feel like you're obsessed with using, you know, this intuition, you know, you know this, that's why you're so obsessed about it. You're looking back on your happiness in the past. I almost feel like the ending, this could be an ending or a transformation, but it takes place because of someone's attack or someone's self-serving approach to something it's almost like you felt attacked by this person but i feel like you in the past you know maybe it was a harsh truth that was spoken to you something something happened here something transpired but you are moving forward to a new beginning in love with the emperor here that you've waited for you've waited for this person you've waited for your for your divine soulmate your your counterpart felt backstabbed and betrayed and you want some kind of clarity here two of cups obsessed okay so you're obsessed with the two of cups you want some clarity you're obsessed with this two of cups this emperor energy um, and you're very guarded about closing out a cycle and walking away it's almost like you want to know everything before you close the door on, on this person, on this King of Pentacles. You want to know everything before you close the door and you want closure here. Under the bottom of the deck, it had to do with a third party. I don't feel like you're trying to build with somebody who's not giving to you equally. And I feel like you've been patiently making this decision, but looking back at your past. There's a truth here. There you are, Gemini. So I feel like the truth it has for Gemini was about a third party and you recovering from the juggling and moving forward. You you deciding, look, I have an 1111 here. It's going to give me all the justice I need. I'm getting all this clarity. I feel like you're you're this is just you, you know, you know it's time. I feel like I feel like you know it's time you've you've given it the all you've given it your all and now it's time for you to say no, I'm done. I'm done. So give me some more clarity for, I feel like this is you finding your, finding out everything you know and it putting you on your right path. I mean, this is what this is about. Um, you may be flirting with this emperor. You may be, yeah, your love life is affected by your spiritual path because you're, this is a divine soulmate, a divine counterpart. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now, right? It's time for you to make this decision, right? And and I, that honeymoon card is good. It's almost like that six of swords. 
for you to move this forward, right? So, Gemini, this is you getting the closure you need to put you on the right path. That's what this is all about. These three wanted to come out. Passion and pleasure savor your life. Fogged in. Go slow. Take time. This is about you figuring this out, getting the closure, getting the answers you need, reaching your destination. Your light is shining brightly. Because what this is about is you making the decision that you need to make for your life purpose. That's what this is the bottom line here. Wandering path. Enjoy the journeys under the bottom of the deck. Take your first steps. Begin now. Take your first steps. They're calling you towards your path. And it may be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio that you're dealing with. Um, leadership. This is the Emperor card for me. And truth. Releasing things that don't serve you. Letting go of the karmic relationship you may be in. Going forward to your right path. Choosing the right person. What does Gemini need to know? <clears throat> Excuse me. Self-indulgence. Focus on self. Self-worth. Time to heal. Shadow work. Self-appreciation. Yes, it's time for you to do that. Shadow work and, and get yourself where you're supposed to be. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. This is time for you to go in the right direction, right? You're ascending to a higher level of understanding, right? Palm tree, stability, security, performance, growth, endurance, uh, flexible. Under the bottom of the deck, you have the dragonfly. Being, being lighthearted, finding out things coming to light, adapt, change, and heal. This is about you. Getting the closure you need from this karmic relationship and cutting it off and going towards where you're supposed to be for your life purpose. Period. That's what this is about. So let me get all 12 signs for you. And I'll take this to the Vimeo. I'll, I'll take this. I was going to say Vimeo. I don't use Vimeo anymore. I'm using Gumroad. So um, if um, I will take this to the extended and get you some, some more clarity. Guys, I will be going live soon. Um, I'll be doing a live, uh, probably my first live that I've done um, here soon. I'm not sure which day. I'm trying to get over this nasty cold. I've had it for a week. And um, I'm not coughing and sneezing. It's a little difficult to read cards when you're coughing and sneezing every five minutes. So. Okay, let's get into this for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? What does Gemini need to know? I love this new deck. This is a new deck for me. It's called the Fairy, Fairy Tale Tarot. It's very pretty, very bright. I love the colors um, on a black background. Love that. Shuffles nice, which is really good. Okay, so let's get into the energy for Gemini and then all 12 signs around Gemini, starting with Aries. So I feel like you're single and I'm ready to mingle. This is like you making this head over heart decision to be single pre-Empress energy. See, this is about you. I feel like starting your twin flame union, coming into union. Give me all 12 signs around Gemini, starting with Aries. You're dealing with an Aries, you got the Hierophant and the King of Swords. So this could be um, a relationship with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. If you're dealing with a Taurus. You know, usually the Seven of Wands, it can mean blocking. It can mean uh, overcoming obstacles. And it also could be standing your ground. But I feel like in this case, somebody's waiting to overcome an obstacle. If you're dealing with a Taurus. If you're dealing with another Gemini. Gemini, you have the... You can't make this up. Okay? You have the Two of Cups, Six, six of Cups. This is, you know, your soulmate from a... Your past life soulmate. Person. Your person. Your Two of Cups. 
you're dealing with a cancer, someone's heartbroken. Getting some clarity and they're heartbroken. If you're dealing with a Leo, Leo's trapped in their head about the drama, the strife, the jealousy, the competition. You're dealing with a, a Virgo. They may be holding on to an option. If you're dealing with a Libra, someone's manifesting a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, Ooh, you got the Ace of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. You want new love and something long-term and committed, Scorpio. Good for you. Okay, give me the Sag. Sag, you got the Moon and the Nine of Wands. Somebody's very guarded about something that's hidden. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, I feel like somebody wants to they want a victory in building something. They want to be seen head and shoulders above the rest in building something. So it's almost like if they're building a building for perhaps whatever this is. It could be a relationship. It could be anything that they're trying to build. They're collaborating with somebody to build something and they want a victory at it. Whatever this is, they're going to they want to they want to reach the finish line here. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, I feel like they need the strength to move forward. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, Pisces is moving on. They're moving on. So guys, that's all I have for you. I'm going to take this into to Gumroad and get you a um, extended. So if you um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I will get you the like I said, the mutual energy between you and this person, I'll get you the obstacle, what the divine thinks, and the outcome. So if this resonates, leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you over on Gumroad for the Extended.